The moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the Ramirez household. Inside, Alex and Rose watched over their sleeping infant sons, Carlo and Romeo, with hearts full of love and hope for the future. Little did they know, their lives were about to be shattered in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, the tranquility of the night was shattered by the sound of breaking glass and shouts of alarm. Alex's eyes snapped open, and he immediately sprang into action, rushing to barricade the door as Rose clutched their sons tightly to her chest. Alex, what's happening? Rose whispered, her voice trembling with fear. I don't know, but we need to protect the boys, Alex replied, his voice steady despite the rising panic in his chest. Outside, the sounds of chaos grew louder as the intruders forced their way into the house. With a final push, Alex secured the door just as the first of the gunmen burst into the room. Get down, he shouted, pushing Rose and the twins behind the nearest piece of furniture as bullets tore through the air. Rose clung to her sons, shielding them from harm as Alex fought bravely against the assailants. But the odds were stacked against him, and within moments, he lay bleeding on the floor his life slipping away with each passing second. Alex, no. Rose cried, tears streaming down her face as she cradled his limp body in her arms. Rose, take the boys and run, Alex whispered, his voice barely audible over the din of gunfire. Get them out of here, no matter what. With a heart heavy with grief, Rose nodded, scooping up Carlo and Romeo as she fled into the night, leaving behind the life they had known and loved. Outside, the chaos raged on as the gunmen unleashed their fury upon the helpless family. By the time dawn broke, the Ramirez household lay in ruins, a silent testament to the senseless violence that had torn their lives apart. Meanwhile, deep in the heart of the forest, a soldier patrolled the perimeter, his senses alert for any signs of trouble. As he rounded a bend in the trail, he stumbled upon the scene of carnage, his heart sinking at the sight before him. Dear God, he muttered, rushing to check for signs of life amidst the devastation. To his relief, he discovered a faint heartbeat emanating from one of the infants, cradled in the arms of his mother. Hang on, little one, he whispered, carefully scooping up the baby in his arms as he scanned the area for any other survivors. Minutes turned into hours as the soldier searched tirelessly for any sign of life amidst the rubble. Finally, just as he was about to lose hope, he heard a faint cry emanating from the underbrush nearby. Heart pounding with anticipation, he followed the sound until he stumbled upon another infant, miraculously unharmed amidst the chaos. Two survivors, he murmured, tears of relief streaming down his face as he cradled the precious infants in his arms. I'll make sure you both are safe, I promise. With a heavy heart, the soldier made his way back to base, his mind racing with thoughts of the horrors he had witnessed that night. Little did he know, the lives of Carlo and Romeo Ramirez were about to take divergent paths, forever altered by the tragedy that had befallen their family. The soldier, now identified as Sergeant Martinez, returned to base with the two infant boys cradled in his arms. Despite the chaos of war surrounding them, he was determined to ensure their safety and well-being. We need to get these boys to safety, Martinez declared, his voice firm as he approached his commanding officer. The commanding officer nodded solemnly, his expression reflecting the gravity of the situation. Agreed. Take them to the nearest medical facility and ensure they receive proper care. With a sense of urgency, Martinez set out on the journey to the medical facility, his heart heavy with the weight of responsibility. As he traveled, he couldn't shake the images of the devastated household from his mind, haunted by the senseless violence that had torn a family apart. Arriving at the medical facility, Martinez handed over the infants to the attending nurses, ensuring they received the care and attention they desperately needed. He lingered for a moment, watching over them with a mixture of sadness and determination. Please, take good care of them, Martinez implored, his voice thick with emotion as he bid farewell to the boys. The nurses nodded solemnly, their hearts going out to the orphaned infants left in their care. With a heavy heart, Martinez returned to his duties, knowing that he had done everything in his power to ensure their safety. Meanwhile, far away in the depths of the forest, another scene was unfolding. Romeo, the younger of the twins, lay cradled in the arms of one of the gunmen, 
his tiny form trembling with fear as he was whisked away from the only home he had ever known. Keep him quiet, one of the gunmen hissed, casting a wary glance around the forest as they made their escape. Romeo whimpered softly, instinctively reaching out for the familiar comfort of his parents' embrace. But they were gone, their absence leaving a gaping hole in his heart as he was thrust into a world of uncertainty and danger. Please click subscribe button and notification bell to hear more story. To get the full story of The Crescent Moon, just click the link on the descriptions below. Thank you for watching.